This is a video dated April 21st, 2012. This is the Wilson Barrett Railroad. Um, pretty much completed with it. It looks like we're going to be moving and this will either stay, be sold to the new owners of the house or uh, will come with me. Don't know yet, but I uh, wanted to get a video of what this thing looks like. So, first room we're in, this is the town of Wilson. Uh, we started this back in, uh, oh, I think uh, April or May of 2007. Uh, this wall dead ends. This was mostly completed by my late father-in-law, Vic Wilson, hence the name of the town, Wilson Falls. As you can see, got quite a bit of detail. Trying to move slow enough that they don't get you sick. One of the details I'll zoom in for. The traffic light there. And traffic lights work. We got one there. Sorry. And you got the red light there. So they just will cycle and go green. As you see, I like lights. Lots of lights. Clyde's Crate and Barrel Factory. There's a waterfall from which the town gets its name. Painted backdrop. Painted by Tammy Batson Stevens, a great artist. Initially, thought I was only going to have this one room to put train layout. So those two tunnels over there dead ended. There was no bridge. Bridge was all added after more space was acquired and we moved into the second room. And yes indeed it does now go into a second room. Wander on in there. You can see there's two levels. More backdrop. Coal mine. You can hear the uh, Erie Lackawanna. U25B is idling. All the engines on here are DCC sound. So notice there's some newer cars and older cars. Tried to stay in the uh, transition era, maybe 50s, but then started falling in love with newer cars, newer motive power. So now it's kind of a mix of a bunch of different things. Then we come to the town of Barrett, Pennsylvania. A walk-in area. There's the actual downtown area of Barrett. Of course, more painting by Tammy. The water tower there shows us 
Barrett, Pennsylvania. See where the second layer level comes across? And that second level cuts back across the top. Turns the corner, goes down to the coal mine, and then through the wall into the other room. This room, of course, I have all lit up too. Some working lights here under the bridge. See the working traffic lights there. We've got a uh, working crossing right here. Of course, it's not working right now, but that does work. Got the electric company back here. There's the other depot here. As you might be able to tell, I like detail. This scene I'm kind of proud of. They're working on the pipe in the street. Many of the buildings have interiors. Better lit up. I don't know if you'll be able to see this one. No, you can't really see it. There's a couple in there. Interior there. There's a bank interior. Let me get close enough. See that? It's a bank interior. A couple inside the room there. Sorry about the movement. And there's a restaurant. There's people inside of it. People at the front. Ice cream scene. Dixie Dine and Drive. See another stream here. A little picnic area. Here of this business. You can see in there. That's been detailed. Detailing on the back of this dock here. Big air conditioning unit. Detailing on the front of the Railway Express. And the crossing. Got a road heading up. Diner has people in it. And then want to focus. Got a back deck. People are on a back deck eating. A set of stairs goes up to a platform for train watching. Of course, it crosses there. Here's something you might not have noticed. NMRA bus. Thought that was kind of fun. Come across. Pull way station. Tunnel. It looks like it goes the other side. That's just an optical illusion I tried to create. 
You may notice in the backdrop, there's Horseshoe Curve in Pennsylvania. A little stormy area there. Some lightning striking one of the radio towers. Local TV station. Go back to the other room. Notice the painting on this wall tries to match Wilson's Falls. So when you're standing at the right angle, it looks like you're looking at Wilson's Falls. That was kind of a fun thing to add. Back to Wilson's Falls. See a lumber yard detailing inside the building. Detailing and lighting inside the gas station. Lighting inside the church. See the stained glass windows, the cemetery. Something I'm kind of proud of. Plus, I added interior lighting, cut the door open so it looks like people are coming off the bus, and added headlights and taillights. Setting is in October. There's an Oktoberfest festival going on in the town square with an oompa band and some dancers. Meat market has interior. Interior on the bar. I don't know if we can catch that. very well, but you can see there's an interior there. We got a little fishing scene on the side of the river here. So, this is the Wilson Barrett layout. Another bus, lighted with interior, exterior, with people on it. That's all we got for now. Thanks. Bye.